Now that we've rebooted into Noobs, let's go ahead and use Noobs in order to install RASP BMC. We've only spoken briefly about RASP BMC previously. It is Kodi based and it's formerly known as XBMC, which stands for Xbox Media Center. What's interesting about calling XBMC XBMC is that XBMC no longer works on the Xbox, which is part of the reason that Kodi has re-emerged as the new name for XBMC. What it is really is a great media browser, manager, and player for your HDTV. While you can install any regular Debian application that is available for Raspbian onto XBMC or RasBMC or Kodi, you really are going to probably use RaspBMC as a media player and solely as a media player. It really excels at that. It is network connected and powerful. The reason this is important is because in case we want to stream from other places on our network or we want to get content from the web, we will be able to very, very easily because the network is already there. Even after all of these naming conventions and final versions of the names are settled, you may see various names for the same project. You may see in the future RASP BMC listed as OSMC or Open Source Media Center. Don't be concerned, it's the same great product. Now, let's talk about how to install and configure OSMC or XBMC or RASP BMC. We choose RASP BMC inside of Noobs. We confirm that we are going to overwrite the Pi with RASP BMC instead of Raspbian, and we understand that we will lose any content that we saved, for instance, on the desktop in Raspbian, unless we switch out the SD card to a new SD card. That is probably the best option because if we switch out the card, that means that we can easily switch between RASP BMC and Raspbian and any other OSs that we want to have on that particular Raspberry Pi at any given time with the switch of the SD card. We will wait for our installation to finish. We will log in given the username and password that we created in the setup. We will configure RASP BMC by making sure that we are connected to network shares or other sources of media. And we will make sure that other settings such as time and date are all correct. Let's go do it now. I'm going to install OpenELEC. We get our warning that says that our existing operating system is going to be overwritten. And this is important to note because if you go ahead and install your new Media Center OS, and you had Raspbian installed on the SD card, you're going to lose the content of the previous operating system. So either back that up somewhere else before you overwrite it, or go and get another SD card, which will protect your content, keep it on that SD card, and you can just switch out the SD card before you boot in order to go into one operating system versus another. Here's the boot screen for OpenELEC, and it tells you some notes about OpenELEC while it's installing. We can see progress down below going very, very quickly. You should also note that there is a movement away from the XBMC name to a name of Kodi. And so if you happen to see Kodi during your install or after installation, don't be concerned. It's still XBMC, except now it's called Kodi. And here it is. Let's go ahead and reboot. Here's our splash screen for the XBMC Media Center. And here it is. This is our Media Center operating system. And as I said, this is Open Elec. And if you had installed RASPMC or some future version of RASPMC, it would be a very similar experience. We can see, for example, that we can navigate to pictures, videos, music, programs, go into system settings, and so on. And in fact, you can actually set up a phone with an application or a remote control, as long as it's configurable as a remote control, to work with your OpenELEC installation. So if we go into weather, for example, we can see that we get this help message. It says this tab signifies there's a menu off to the side of this window that contains extra options for this section. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And if we click on that, or actually just move our mouse over to it. We can change location, set up forecasting, set up a weekend forecast, 
hourly forecast, etc. If I go into settings, here in settings, if I click on location one, after a second we will get an opportunity to type in the location. Let's just say that the nearest large town is San Francisco. If I click on done, it will confirm that I'm talking about this San Francisco. And I could put in additional locations, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll click on OK. And because my Raspberry Pi is plugged into the internet, it will be able to download that information over time. If I click back on my home icon, we can see that we can go into pictures and see if there are add-ons for it, which we will do later. Videos have files and add-ons. Music has files and add-ons. Programs that we want to install. We could click on Get More and see what options are available to us. So if you use Amule, for example, or if you want to be able to easily organize your artwork, or if you want to play trailers, slideshows, intro videos, etc., there are a whole bunch of applications that allow you to extend the functionality of your OpenELEC installation. If we go into our system settings, there's the ability to configure appearance, video settings, live television, music, pictures, etc. OpenELEC is a rich system, especially if you are looking for a system to manage your media on your television. And the fact that it's $35 for the device itself and completely free for the operating system is a nice, nice thing.